We're having a total lunar eclipse on March 13th. Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Steele, and it's Sean Murray at the Planetary Science Institute. So the first thing to know for eclipses in general is that the sun is always shining, which means that the Earth and the moon both cast shadows in space. One really important thing to keep in mind is that we don't have eclipses every month because the moon's orbit is inclined by about 5 degrees to the plane of the ecliptic. So uh, we don't have this every month. So why are eclipses reddish tinted and not completely dark? Well, this is because of the Earth's atmosphere, which preferentially scatters blue and green shorter wavelengths of light than it does red. Those are the longer wavelengths of light. And this means that the moon passing through the Earth's shadow is really passing through all of the Earth's sunsets and sunrises. That's what gives it its reddish tint. This total lunar eclipse will be visible primarily from the Americas, but people in Eastern Asia, Eastern Australia, Western Europe, and Western Africa might be able to see partial lunar eclipses. This year's blood moon or blood worm moon or sunset moon is going to be visible kind of late at night. So on the East Coast, we're talking like 2 a.m. On the West Coast, a little bit better, 11.30 p.m. Hopefully you get to see it.